All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add in this line of code, which basically will say if um, you are locked, if you have liked the blog post, it will show the like, no, hide the like and show the unlike button. If you, in the other case, actually doesn't have liked it, it will show the like button and then hide the unlike button. Then we go in here and we basically send in um, user ID, check if it's in here. So let's go in and change this to the right one. So like that is light. Okay, good. And then we're gonna say. This tool likes good. So what should happen now is if we go in here, then we should be able to go in here and then create the buttons we actually need to proceed with this. Oh no, sorry, we already created them in the last video. We just need to log in. So if you log in in the case like this now. Just a moment, we'll just create a new user, so it doesn't matter. Also, my website is live now. So if you want to go in and see it now, you can just go in and find it at the following URL here. There's a link down in the description. And then if we just wait here, go into the right page, go in here. Okay, we got an error. So route like is not defined. That's because we call it tuple light. So if we then go in and say tuple like. Okay, so we have an error here. And the reason why is because we didn't add unlike in here. So what we can do now is go in and say like this. If they are hard and remove the color, change this to unlike. Go in now. Then you can automatically go in and update the content here. So now you have actually created a fully functional like button. And again, if you're a bit questioning about how it works, basically what we do is we first of all check if it's been like my PHP. If not, then it's gonna go like this. And then we go in and say, like if this is clicked and the user is logged in by PHP again, we are sending in an I actual request, a get request to the token like you're sending the blog ID to the blog controller where we then go in and find the blog post to like by and send in true or false and how many likes there is now. And this would then go in and update it depending on whatever happens. And beside that, it's worth noticing that if, for example, 
I go in and create a new user in another browser in, for example, Firefox. And then you go in and click like or dislike um, on one of them and the other one clicks, it will actually update. So if we go in like this, 127.0.1, go in and create a random user like This is just some random information I just made up. Okay, great. So if I go in here and let me show you what you mean, I click like. Now it has two likes. I go in here and then click unlike. It still has one like because it gets the data from the database when this is submitted. So you don't have to. So if 500 have liked this in the meantime, when you click like, it would update the counter. Now we could go in and do this with Pusher and make it way more complicated and update it automatically, but that would take so much time and this course is already really long. Um, and you could also go in and create a request every one minute or something like that, which I wouldn't recommend. That then also would do the same thing and update it every minute. But this is just one way to do it. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.